I'm at Cole's Salon and Spa with Julie, a hairstylist, and you are going to actually help me and solve some problems I have in my life because I actually always do the ponytail as my go-to hairstyle because it's easy. I just, right. I'll often style my hair in the morning and then an hour later still throw it up in a ponytail. So you're here to give me some options of different things I can do for different things I do in my life, but also maybe talk to me a little bit about what's trendy right now. Sounds perfect. Okay. I think I think the ponytail is definitely the go-to, and the ponytail is absolutely something that we are doing a lot of in a lot of different versions. Okay. So something that's easy for yourself when you want to go to do a pony okay. is a twisted pony. Okay. Uh, what the twisted pony is is it's a simple two-step process of two pieces of hair that you just twist together. Okay. And it will it will join together into a ponytail on the back. So it looks a little bit more dressy, like it took a little bit more time. Okay. But it has a little bit of character to the sides. Okay. A little bit and more stylized. I'll, yep, yep. I'll show you how that works. So what you want to do is you'll just take two sections of your hair. Okay. And you split them in half. So you have two pieces of hair. You take the bottom one to the top. Okay. And then you add a piece of hair to it. The nice thing with this... Kind of like a French braid, but not... I mean, with the whole grabbing, or no? It is, but you only have two strands okay. versus three. So okay. doing it yourself is much easier yes. than if you have the, the actual three strands. Okay. So then you just take the bottom one to the top, and you continue that all the way till you get to the back. And when you complete that, you have a nice twisted rope that makes your ponytail look a little bit more dressy without having to go through so much work. Okay. And it adds some character to it. So at this point, you can put your ponytail holder in and continue to the other side. Okay. So you you secure one side, then go to the other, and then put them together. Yes, okay. exactly. Would you like me to do the complete yeah. look? Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, the, the thing that you want to do with hair right now, because some of the trends for hair is to have it look very textured. Okay. So not having it be too terribly um, smooth and sleek, but leaving a lot of texture, which is also nice for when you're doing your own hair is not making it too perfect because I think people get hung up on it has to be perfect or yes. they don't want to do it. So that messier look? Absolutely the messy look is kind of the big thing. Which is great for especially busy moms because a lot of times our days are messy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and then if you're outside and you're at the park or you're you know at the beach with the kids if your hair gets messed up it still has a look that's complete without looking you know too terribly perfect. So there you can see Perfect. you've got like the twists. It adds a little bit of character, and yet it takes about one minute to do. That was easy. It felt easy. I mean, I think I could do that at home. Yeah. So let's say I'm lucky enough to get to go out at night. What should I? What should I be doing then? What should I look like? Well, the big trend right now that we're seeing a ton of is center parts. Okay. So keeping your part nice and centerized, and then having uh, the a lot of different variations of headbands. Okay. So so many people are used to the typical headband that goes from ear to ear. Okay. It gives people headaches, a little bit harder to work with. Yes. The, the headbands now have a little bit more of a circular type motion, um, construction to them. Okay. What's nice is if you can find one that has more of a band to it mm -hmm. than the fabric that goes all the way around, okay. as well as some velvet that actually stick into the hair and they won't move on you okay. and, and cause it to kind of slip on your head. Okay. So there's a couple different things. We'll show you kind of a trendier look that, that we're seeing a lot of, which okay. some people aren't always comfortable with. And okay. then we'll show you a little bit one that's a little bit more tamed down more, okay. um, if that feels uncomfortable to you. So all I'm going to have you do is put your finger up in your forehead and hold this tight. Okay. All you do with that is gently pull it down to kind of the round of the head in the back. Okay. Then what you do is you grab some hair okay. and you actually fluff it up all the way around the headband mm -hmm. to give you more of that bohemian look okay. that you see a ton of. Now with you, I would pull Do you pull think this. I'm too old to be bohemian? Because I might feel too I think, old to be bohemian. I don't think you're too old to be <laughs> bohemian, but what I would do is play around with the type of headband that you wear. Okay. So this is a little bit kind of bling and a little bit sassier and kind of I think a little bit more gutsy okay. might kind of make you feel a little bit a little bit uncomfortable All so right. what you can do is you can take the headband and move it a little bit further back on your head okay so with that we just take this and we're gonna start over and I'm gonna have you do the same thing if you can just hold your finger right there okay you just bring this one back again to the back of the head make sure you go beyond that occipital bone so that you get that headband not to, to turn up okay and then again give it a fluff and wear it a little bit further back gives you, whoops, not that much fluff. It gives you just a little bit more of a tamed down look with a little bit of bling. 
What's interesting is I would think that you would put this all the way under my hair, but it's actually still on top of my hair. It's still on top back. of the hair. Mm -hmm. Some, if you want to take it to a little bit more of a, uh, ex I, it's more extensive. Some people actually take the bottom of this hair and they will roll that up into that band. Kind of to, like an updo. To put it into an updo. And it's just a basic twist okay. that you twist around that uh, headband piece. And it gives it a little bit more of a fancier look. Okay. And you can feel I just tuck that. Could you tell how I was yep. tucking that? And the and, elastic will just hold it in. Yep. And if you if you can see that, just put that. Now, obviously, we're a little <laughs> bit crazy with that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we can just tuck some of that. But it gives you more of an updo type look without having to put, again, a ton of time into it. And messy, like you said. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Everything is messy this year. Okay. Everything you're seeing is they're actually taking hair and teasing it and making it kind of have a lot of crazy little pieces, Okay. which is good for the at-home person to do mm -hmm. hair, a little bit easier to uh, do yourself. So there's, you know, bands that have the bling to them. There are bands that are a little bit more stone like, like these for are, every day yeah. probably yep mm -hmm. this gives you just a little bit more of an everyday look okay. and again you can do the traditional headband with these but some people find that that gives them a headache sitting behind the ear like right. that yes. so that's something that um, is available to you thank you so much julie it's nice to feel like i can maybe do something a little bit trendy now yeah you're welcome to learn more about what julie shared with us and all kinds of tips and tricks for at-home hairstyling visit our website